SPIRIT is an acronym. It's Service Provider Individualized Recovery Intensive Training. And it allows us to teach individuals with lived experience, navigating mental health, um, homelessness services, um, substance use services, take that lived experience and really utilize it for good and help others and just kind of learn how to be a peer provider. SPIRIT gives the opportunity for a group of people to come together and learn the skills that they need in order to go out to the community and to walk side by side with others who have the same lived experiences they have gone through. What makes our graduation really special is that um, people come into class on their first day and they're not sure that they're going to make it through for the six months of training. And um, our staff are going in there and they are coming in with an attitude of everyone here is going to graduate. And you know, at the end of the course, it is at that point that we see the transformation in the students and the glow and they look vibrant and radiant. They're proud of themselves, they believe in themselves, their confidence has risen, and um, they now know that they can go on to employment or um, they've figured out better ways to manage you know, life as it comes to them and also will continue, some will continue to go um, into a college for another course, which is really exciting for them, especially if they haven't been in class. We have students you know, from the age of 18 all the way up to 74, it's pretty amazing that graduate from class. I didn't know what I was getting into when I joined Spirit, and it's been great for me. I've gone from being shut up in my room or my house to having friends and doing stuff and participating in life. So this year was a a continuous transition for the SPIRIT program in 2021 was just strictly online, um, an online course. During this transition, some of our students shared that they were, um, for one, it was the first time going back to school or going to school in a long time, and so just that in itself was very uh, a challenging transition for, for many folks. And in addition, um, there was some benefit to having it online for some people because it's like, I've heard several students talk with me about that they've been able to connect with their fellow peers offline. Some meet up for coffee, they have like a routine where every Saturday or every Friday they have lunch or breakfast. I'm just like amazed by the amount of support that they have outside of the program that has essentially turned into like close peer relationships. Some of the bonds have carried into real life. Like I have a new best friend that I met through Zoom in class. I can't wait for graduation because I finally get to meet everybody, right? And hug all the people I've wanted to hug all through class. It is such an amazing, humbling, inspiring process. Um, when you see someone start seeing themselves for what they really are rather than what they were allowing their illness to believe. My graduation was in, I graduated 2019. And so I think for me and a lot of classmates, it was the first time in probably nearly 10 years that I had actually been well enough and worked hard to get to a place where I was healthy enough to complete something. And so for me, it was, it was really transformative to be, I felt like I was part of a community. Like when I really graduated Spirit became a part of this community. I always say I like I found my tribe. Like I was like, I found my tribe. You know, like these are my people, you know, and and so it was awesome. It was definitely the beginning, I felt like, of something great. We've all been through hell in our own way. And we've all survived it. And now it's our turn to lift up others that need the help. We're all beautiful. And we're all butterflies that have found our wings. Feel it deep down that I know that that was God's path for me to help other people and to reach out because of my own experiences with not just myself, but with my kids, my friends, you know, from lived experience. I feel really, really good. Um, 
I feel like I'm in high school again, you know, busted butt and did what I had to do. And so far I'm getting straight A's. So I'm really proud of that. You know, having to keep down a household and having a teenager still at home who was also also on distance learning, it was quite the, quite the challenge. You know, I, for once, for the first time in my life, I'm doing something for me and mm. not selfishly because I'll be able to give back to others too, you know? So I feel really, really good and confident about where I'm headed. So the next graduate is not here with us today. She is ill and she is watching this. Um... <laughs> issues that I had in my life. Um, this was going to be a, a, a good opportunity for me to, uh, you know, try to achieve something meaningful. And I, I really wanted to do something meaningful with my life, you know, because I was addicted to crack cocaine at 13 years old. And I didn't think I was going to make it until to 18. It was so bad at that time. And having my mother um, be support me through all the trials and tribulations that I've had in and out of institutions and jails and different things. Um, I couldn't have made it without her. And uh, like I said, the, the spirit team was um, very helpful with anything. it's indescri indescribable um, if I try to pin some words on it it would be incredible achievement incredible satisfaction incredible fulfillment and a huge driving force of momentum that makes me want to continue this and it makes me just realize that I'm at the very beginning um, and, it, and it, that's and that's inspiring to me because there's just so much more to be done well, now you know and now that I have better time allocation and I'm getting better transportation resources and everything it's like everything's falling into place
feel really good about where I'm at right now. I'm still going through a lot, but uh, and I've had to overcome a lot of outside adversity. But I feel much more confident in my future. Great job, man! That's a new feeling. I'm a survivor of narcissistic domestic abuse. Uh, so when I started Spirit, I had no self-confidence and no self-esteem, and I'm starting to get that back. And it's a beautiful thing. I'm enjoying it a lot. just one year, two years ago. I, two years ago today, I was living homeless out of a car. Never, no, I never would have thought. This next student is strong, beautiful, determined, and has a magnetic personality, and her name is Shannon Hussey. Like, I feel like I'm being reborn. I have three teenage sons who I want them to see their mom coming from a drug addict to graduating yeah. from spirit and starting a life. And them to know that that can happen. It's not the end of your story.
Before the SPEAR program, I didn't think I could do anything. I was just an addict with no education, no career, nothing. And I came to SPIRIT and they welcomed me with open arms and they seen my potential. And since they seen my potential, my confidence has just gone through the roof. The biggest thing that SPIRIT has done for me is given me the confidence to know that I could do it. And I didn't have that before. For the first time since I was a young adolescent, I truly love myself. amazing feeling. Um, a couple years ago, I mean, it, was, it was just anxiety every day, all day, every day. Finally, uh, I lost my father, and that really took a toll on me. I mean, I wake up every morning from an anxiety attack or a panic attack, and fear has completely changed me. Really, really, amazing when i look in the mirror I'm, I'm not afraid to look in the mirror i'm proud to look in the mirror now and i'm, I'm smiling instead of crying so it's, it's amazing I feel pretty good. I feel like I've accomplished a lot. Um, before, prior to taking the, the spirit class, um, I've been enrolled in, I think, almost all of the health and human services classes. And um, spirit was one of the ones I, I wanted to have. And I'll be doing diagnosis and doing diagnosis in the fall. So I'll be working towards my degree. Okay, so I'd like to say congratulations to you all. You made it through this year. And my word for you this year is fortitude because no matter what you were faced with this year, you persevered, you made it through, and um, you held on, and here you are, you're graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. What I would like to tell the class of 2021 <laughs> is that, um, you can do anything that you want to do, that you are strong and capable and so able to go out there and to be a peer and walk alongside some people who really are looking for what you have to offer and the support that you can give. And um, you now have the skills to do that and I know you're going to take off and you're going to be able to do whatever it is, whether it's continuing your education or going on um, to be a peer support specialist in some part of the mental health field. So Spirit Class, I really wanted to share with you that I'm, I'm very proud of um, your tenacity, um, your strength, for, and your courage for coming in and you know taking the leap of faith and taking this program and trusting that um, this would be an experience that would be transitioning for yourself and that you can obtain um, 
immense amount of skills from the program and I just want to recognize your growth um, throughout the past uh, six months from the end of January until graduation day I've seen you all grown in ways that is un that are unimaginable and I feel extremely honored as one of your peers um, to witness that growth because that's not something that you kind of see in a six month period um, you know amongst your peers uh, you guys have developed strong trusting relationships and peer relationships um, in the program um, skills your peer support skills some of you guys got jobs um, your internships are leading it to great opportunities for you um, and and this is just the beginning and um, I just think how amazing it is of you guys to um, to come this far and remember that this is only the beginning um, and to continue to strive forward and um, strive for greatness and remain positive uh, resilient and remember that you got yourself this far so you can continue to to keep striving I would say definitely to the graduates of the 2021 class that even though we were online there was such a profound amount of compassion and inspiration and motivation to be a part of this field and this community and to help others um, that just came through regardless of being on screen and not being in person. Um, when you see that much compassion and willingness to just work um, so that you know someone can be a part of this behavioral health field in this county and this community um, it is so promising. Like there is no doubt in my mind that the peers graduating from this class are going to have um, are going to have an amazing future, and they're going to make like really significant changes um, in such a great direction. You know, so um, it's pretty it's it's pretty amazing. Like I said, to be on camera and to have that much power and compassion and just love and energy come through on screen, you know, it's, I know that this, there are very special people in this class. So I'm very excited to work with them in person eventually, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully. hopefully. I'm so proud of them. They, I mean, despite being on camera, despite it being a different experience and, and being frustrated with internships because they're not in person and they're not, you know, it's, this experience with the pandemic, it has been unfortunate. And um, it has been a different experience, but you just like wouldn't know it, you know, because of the energy um, and the drive that they still bring. Um, there's such a compassion and humility. So I'm just, I'm extremely proud of this class. It's a very unique and rare class. Um, and I'm very excited to have these individuals in our community working. I would like to take this time to thank all of our collaborators that we've had, our community-based organizations, um, the Contra Costa County uh, Behavioral Health System, and Contra Costa College. Um, specifically, their, uh, Professor Amenta Mickles, who has been amazing and such a, a support person and mentor to all of us, and um, also uh, Tamara Hunter at Putnam Clubhouse, who is always so supportive and has um, been amazing at helping us to get the programs put together and um, for this class of 2021.